So about correlations and spectral angle mapping, <clears throat> we have the both options, correlations or spectral angle mapping. The only thing we need is to select uh, here which method we want, correlations in this case, and the reference. The reference should be a matrix that is in our workspace. And this matrix needs to have the following shape. This is a matrix that contains as many a spectrum as we want, because what we want to do is to calculate the correlation between each one of these spectra and uh, the image, and in the columns we have the wavelengths we need, okay? So, we need this information to be available in the workspace. But imagine that we don't have it. One of the things we could do is to come back to the pre-processing tab, go to check image, and here we can create our, our database. Like this will be the first one, this will be the second one, this will be the third one, and this will be the fourth one. If you need the averages, you can do it in here, in this bottom here, okay? So once I have this four, I will save it to my workspace. I would say pre-prospect instead of spectra for correlations, okay? And I close this window and I come back to my analysis tab. Remember that we have all the analysis in here. This is wonderful because we can check whatever we need in any moment, okay? So reference, it will go to the workspace and spectra for CC, accept data, and run the model, okay? Here we are. In this case, we have reference number one and what is the correlation between the, this reference spectrum and the whole image. Of course, we can also change the color map as we need, okay? In this case, it will be for the second one. If I click two and I click here two, the same, three, three. You can see by default, here we go. It goes to the color map that we have set in here, but we can change it if we want. And I save the model of correlations, okay? And then I can just click in angle. And with the same references, if I run the model, here we are. Here I have the angle. And here we have the cosine of the angle that is the inverse. Okay. This is the cosine for component number one that is in here. This will be for component number two. And it will change to component number two in here or one and two it will display one and two in here. Okay, you see? Good. And of course, save the model. Okay. And 